Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin Instinct 2X and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. Before we start, you can pair this watch with the Android phone in two ways. The first way is to do it through the setup process of the watch. So basically if the watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. And the second way is to do it through the settings after the watch has been already set up. Because you can set it up without pairing it to a phone. So first I'm gonna show you how to do it through the setup process and then, uh, then I'm gonna show you how to do it through the settings. Okay, let's continue. So let's turn on our watch by pressing and holding the control button. Keep holding it until you see the logo on the screen. Once you see the logo, you can release the button and wait until the watch turns on. And after the watch turns on, you will see the list of languages on the screen if the watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. You can scroll through this list by pressing the up and down buttons, select the language you would like to use on your watch, and once you select it, press the GPS button to confirm. And as you can see, now we're being asked if we want to pair our watch with a phone. We want to do that, so press the GPS button to confirm, and the watch will enter the pairing mode. That's how it looks like. Now we need to download and install the Garmin Connect application on our phone, so make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Uh, once you do, open the uh, Google Play Store, tap on search and type in uh, Garmin Connect. And then tap on search and you should see this application on the list, Garmin Connect by Garmin. Tap on the install button to download and install it. Okay, and once the uh, application is done installing, tap on the open button to open it. Once the application opens, you will see this page. Basically, we need to log in into a Garmin Connect account. If you don't have an account, tap on create account button and make a new one. I already have one, so I'm gonna tap on sign in, check the box, and then tap on next. Now I'm gonna enter the email address and password. And then I'm gonna tap on next. If you see this pop-up about the permissions, tap on allow access, and then tap on allow. and the app should detect your watch automatically. Once it does, tap on connect it, allow, now if you see this pop up, tap on pair, now tap on next, here we can set up a sleeping schedule basically. So if you want to use a feature like do not disturb mode during sleep, uh, you can tap on edit right here and basically set the time on which you go to bed and the time on which you wake up. And you can do it by tapping right here, set the bedtime, then the wake time. And then you can also select, check or uncheck the days on which the uh, schedule should be active. And then you can tap on save and then tap on next. Right here we can set up our goals like steps, uh, calories burned, uh, water intake and stuff like that. If you want to do it, tap on edit goals right here and basically edit the values. Or you can keep the default goals by tapping on uh, keep default goals. I'm gonna tap on edit goals and here we can change the values as you can see. So adjust this to your liking and tap next. Right here we have notification access. This is required if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch. Um, if you don't care, you can tap on skip and keep it disabled. If you want to use it, tap on allow notification access and tap on allow. Next, we have the location permission. This is useful if you want to track your exercises and stuff like that on the map. Um, if you don't care, you can tap on skip and keep it disabled. If you want to use this feature, tap on allow. It will redirect you here. Tap on permissions, uh, tap on uh, location and tap on allow and then go back to the app. Next we have the calendar access. This is useful if you want to access the uh, calendar on your watch and basically see the events and stuff like that on your watch. 
If you don't care, you can uh, tap on skip, of course, to keep it disabled. Next, we have the call, uh, call log access. This is required if you want to see who's calling you on your phone and stuff like that. Notifications about the calls. If you don't care, you can tap on skip and skip it. The same for the phone call access. Skip it or deny it. SMS. And once you're done with the permissions, you can tap on sync now. Okay, and once you see this page, tap on finish. Then you can go through the tutorial how to use our watch. I'm gonna tap on skip and finish. And you should see the main page of the app. On it, you should see the icon of your watch, which means that the device is connected with your phone. You can also tap on more, Garmin devices. And here you should see your Instinct 2X Solar, which means that devices are paired together. Now I'm gonna remove it and we're gonna pair it through the settings. So let's remove the watch, like that. Okay, and now let's pair it through the settings. I'm not gonna reinstall the app and anything like that because that would be a lot of time wasted. I'm just gonna uh, enter the pairing mode on our watch. So if you have the watch that is already set up and you want to enter the pairing mode, uh, press and hold the menu button. Once the mini opens, scroll through it and find the option called uh, phone. Once you find it, select it and then press the GPS button. Then scroll down, find the pair phone option and tap on, or rather press the GPS button to enter. It will enter the pairing mode. Now open the application. Garmin Connect application, of course. In the app, you can tap on the plus button right here or tap on more Garmin devices and tap on add device. Then tap on connect it and basically follow the same steps as we did before. So uh, allow the permissions, pair, and then um, you can deal with the permissions after that. Set up the uh, sleeping times, schedules, and the goals and stuff like that. Then tap next. Here we can set up the schedules for the sleeping. Uh, goals and Then we can tap on sync now skip. I'm not gonna tap on skip sync. Never mind. Let's wait until it's done syncing Okay, it seems seems like it won't sync this time so I'm gonna tap on skip sync and tap on ok Tap on skip here finish And the watch will appear right here on the top and also it will appear on the um, devices page, which means that devices are paired together. Okay, and that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.